At the beginning of the film, we see two friends. One of them was named Sophie who was taking her friend to her childhood friend who has arranged a party for his friends at his house. Sophie's friends don't know about B so she was worried a lot. And B was thinking about how her friends will look at her and how will they treat her because B was a poor girl. And Sophie and her friends were too rich. But Sophie tells her, don't worry because my friends will like you. Now, they reach Sophie's friend's house. And Sophie becomes angry at the door of her car because it didn't get locked. Well, Sophie gets off from the car, and B stays there, and after doing some makeup, she gets off after looking in the mirror. But B went while leaving the lights turning on. Well, they enter the house, and there, all their rich friends of Sophie were playing in the pool. Everyone becomes quite happy to see Sophie but a little shocked, because she didn't tell anyone in the group chat that she is going to come. Now, everyone was happy to see Sophie except for one, who was Sophie's old friend and now she hates her. Everyone sees Sophie after a long time, so in order to make this time special, one of Sophie's friends opens the bottle of champagne with a big knife. Everyone takes the wine, and when they give it to Sophie, she refuses and says, no, I'll not take this, and B doesn't take wine, and later, it starts to rain and everyone starts to go inside, later, one of Sophie's friends enters and comes to her room, whose home she came, Sophie asks him how his eyes turned black, and what happened to his eyes, he tells her that, recently he had a fight with his friend, he got angry with me and went back. They were talking and, remembering their past. While they are talking, Sophie's old friend goes to B, and tells her that, it would be good for her if she stays away from Sophie. Later, when B goes to the kitchen, some, girls were making TikTok videos there. B was feeling a little uncomfortable in this situation, because she doesn't enjoy like other girls. All the girls ask her, how you're and Sophie's friendship is going? B tells them, very good. Now, it turns to night and their real party started. Everyone enjoys there a lot there, they dance and drink wine. When Sophie and B were dancing there, that friend doesn't like it, who was Sophie's old friend that she is enjoying there a lot with B. Now, she calls B with her to dance. When Sophie sees her doing this, she doesn't like it. Sophie tells everyone to play a game. She says that we should play a game here. And it is named and quot bodies, bodies and quot. There are many rules in this game, and everyone will get a paper. If X is written on one's paper, that one will be a killer among us. The killer would have to find everyone. Later, he'll kill them, not in reality but in the game. The player who dies has to act as dead while laying down. Then, the one who will find the dead body will have to shout and quot. Bodies, bodies and quot. This is the game, and everyone was ready to play this game. Everyone takes wine before playing this game. They slap each other, and this all was quite strange. They turn off the lights, and the game is started. After turning their mobile lights on, they all hide one by one. After turning on her mobile light, B was finding a place to hide. Meanwhile, she hears someone screaming and quot. Bodies, bodies and quot. The killer has killed someone which means that a player has found someone. They all come together, and one of their friends has died. This means that he was acting as if he has died. They all think about who the killer is among them. Everyone was blaming each other. Some say you are the killer, and some say you are, and they begin to fight with each other. This was not their fight in the game but it was their real fight. Half of them have gone after leaving the game. Now, the remaining people that including Sophie and B, think the game is over and they begin to take wine and begin to slap each other like crazy. Suddenly the weather becomes bad, and it starts to rain heavily. Because of this, their electricity also turns off. All the girls become worried and think about how to bring the electricity back. Now, they go to a room, and while going through a window, they see that Sophie's friend has arranged a party at 
his house. His neck was bleeding and when B shouts, all the girls come to check what has happened. But their friend has died there. They were quite worried and think about if there is any real killer present there. They try to call for help as well but there was no network. Now, they all go to Sophie's car, so they can take help from the nearby town, but they learn that the car's battery is dead too, because B had left the car lights turned on while leaving. Now, they've only one car, because all of the Sophie's friends came here with one of their friends, who went from there and took her car after being angry. They don't have any other way, so all the girls come back into the house. Meanwhile, the girl who hates Sophie finds a big knife there that has blood on it. And then a friend tells them, maybe our friend who went after fighting has returned and has killed him but the friend who hates Sophie doesn't agree about something like this might happen. Later, she asks them about their friend who initially left the game and left. She says that he told us that he is sleeping, how much we shouted but he still didn't wake up. Everyone was suspecting him, that surely he had killed him. But his friend, who brought him here says he can't do this, and why? Would he kill anyone? Everyone asks that girl, for how long do you know that boy? She says that we, met a few months ago. Now, she also learns that there is much that she doesn't know about him. That, girl begins to call her friend's name. Now, Sophie's friend closes her mouth. Because everyone was sure that he was the killer. Four of them become worried and come to a room while finding that boy. But he was not there, and they learn that one of their friends is missing, when they check his bag. They find many things there, in which a knife was also there. They think if he is not the killer, then why he has kept these things with him. Later, they find their friend who was lost. She was having mental attacks. They give him the medicines and later, they all go for the rest. Later, all the girls come to the room of the boy, he was lying while putting on headphones, so he couldn't hear anything. The girls ask him whatever has happened but have not you heard anything. When they were showing him the knife, he was trying to take that from them. He asks everyone to calm down and puts down his knife. Meanwhile, two girls jump on him and attack him. Somehow he manages to put them away from him. Sophie takes the knife but the boy snatches the knife from her. B was also seeing this all and thought that he might kill Sophie. So she comes from behind and after attacking him, she killed him. After seeing her, all the girls have lost their senses. And the girl who was the friend of that boy was too sad. B wasn't believing in her that she has killed someone. In her anxiety, she vomits on her dress. After coming out, Sophie again has a fight with her friend. They were fighting with each other for the boy, who died first and whose house they stayed. Sophie says that you didn't love her, he was rich so you were living with her. There, the girl after listening to Sophie's words, says that he told her and quote, thank God Sophie has gone from her life and quote, now, he won't have to face the madness of Sophie. Hearing this, Sophie feels so worried that one of her good friends was thinking this all about her. Hearing this all, Sophie says, it was good if you'd died. After listening to this, the girl left. Th. B is shown who, after cleaning the blood from her body, was changing her dress, and now, they've all scattered. And they were finding each other, and then a girl's foot was stuck there and she falls on the dead body of her friend. She was the same friend who was fighting with Sophie, and their other friend died. An old friend of Sophie, who hates her, says, now, he also died whom we consider the killer. Then who is the killer? One of their friends says, except that the killer is among us, who is after our life and we've to find him soon, before anyone else is killed. Now, to find answers, Sophie's Friends blame B, because she was the one about whom no one knows. Both of them tell her that. They've searched for you. There is no girl on social media by your name. And your name is not in. The university. Even you've seen our friend's dead body first. The girl says you've killed my. Friend whom I loved. After saying this, 
Both girls put Sophie's friend, B, out. It was a heavy storm and raining outside. They've locked all the doors of the house. Now, B goes to Sophie's car to hide. She puts down the mirrors of the car and sits there. She wears dry suits and eats the chips. She again tries to go, and when she was standing at the window, she sees Sophie's friend. Who hates Sophie? She was stealing her friend's dad's gun. After some time, B finds a secret way from which she enters the house. She tells Sophie and the friend with her, Sophie, your friend, whose name is Jordan has a gun. Jordan shows her pocket and there was nothing in it. From her pocket, a page falls on which X was written. It means Jordan was the killer. B has broken everyone's trust now, and no one was trusting her. Now, B reveals her truth. She tells that I've got admission to the university but left because of my mom. Sophie, I didn't want to tell you like this so I told a lie. Hearing this, Sophie hugs B. Later, Jordan takes her gun and says B is the killer, and I still consider B a killer. And I'm not going to be lured by her sweet words. Sophie tells her to put away her gun, you won't do anything but a fight starts between them, they were fighting in a way, that they were revealing the secrets of each other. Meanwhile, one of their friends tells Jordan that you're not that rich, she feels angry and shoots a bullet at her feet in anger, the girl was shouting and said, Jordan is the killer, and they begin to fight, in this fight, the gun was shot at the friend, whose feet were already shot by Jordan, she was dead and when Jordan goes upside to save her, Sophie was also chasing her and was trying to take the gun from her. But when B sees this, she holds Jordan's neck and throws her. Before dying, Jordan tells B to check Sophie's phone. She is deceiving you, and now only B and Sophie were left. Their five friends have died. B has no trust in Sophie, so she spends the night secretly from her. In the morning, B comes out and the rain was stopped. Sophie comes from behind, and hugs her, B has Jordan's gun and she tells her to show her phone, she doesn't agree with this, and both have a fight over it, and both of them fall into a pool. When B comes out, she finds a phone, but it wasn't Sophie's phone but it was Sophie's friend's phone, whose house they come to for the party. B unlocks his phone, and later, they begin to watch the video. He was opening a bottle of wine with a big knife. By mistake, it hits her neck and his neck was cut down. Because of this, he died. It means there was no killer there. All the people who died there were innocent. Later, Sophie's friend comes who went after fighting, when he sees the dead bodies around him, he thinks about what happened there. Meanwhile, B sees the mobile has catches the signals and the light also turns on, and all the poor friends who died, they died uselessly. There was no killer, and nor any reason or enmity to fight as well. Sometimes we commit such mistakes about we don't know what we are doing. So before doing anything, figure that matter out. First, that what is the real reason behind this? They have lost their lives for the mistake they've done, or it can be said that this was their silliness, and the film ends with this.